cover-up claims as mayor partied with pedophile. Now, it's important to say the Morning Star, brilliant newspaper, great reporting, by the way. If you only need to read two newspapers in this country, read the Morning Star and the Financial Times. Uh, it's important to say they broke this story, they got the scoop. Uh, but at the same time, my colleagues here at Navarra Media, Simon Childs and Rivka Brown, were working on the same story. We're going to get some detail on their reporting, but I want to be very clear, this was a Morning Star scoop. Before we go to, however, their reporting on this matter, I want to clarify the person at the center of this entire story, that same Mr. Tom Dewey. Now, Dewey was elected as a Labour councillor in 2022. He was seen as something of a fixer. He was viewed as being on the party right. He was very close with senior people in Hackney Labour. He was also a branch secretary in the constituency. And perhaps most revealing of all, he was even a housemate of the Labour mayor for Hackney, Phil Glanville. Rivka and Simon go on to write this in their report for Navarra Media. In the early hours of 29th of April, police raided the shared home of Glanville and Dewey, charging the latter with possessing indecent images of children. Early this month, Dewey was found guilty of multiple offences and given a suspended sentence. He received a £500 fine and 150 hours of community service. On the 5th of May, six days after his arrest, the right-wing Labour activist Dewey stood and was elected, this is after his arrest, as a councillor in Hackney. He resigned on 16th of May, two days after Hackney Council became aware of the charges. In July, Glanville told a town hall meeting, no action that I've ever taken as mayor has ever put the safeguarding of anyone in this council or in our community or beyond at risk. It's a big claim. We'll return to that in a moment. Before we do, I want to highlight the fact that Mr. Dewey was guilty of not just possessing, but also making images of of the of the most hardcore nature with regards to you know um child sexual images these are called class a category a images they're the most appalling things imaginable and he gets a small fine community service and i believe a suspended sentence now you might be a prison abolition abolitionist or whatever you might think well prison's not going to be a disincentive for these kinds of people or and that, those, those are all reasonable points but i do find it absolutely extraordinary that somebody who stole a bottle of water during the London riots gets six months, and yet somebody in possession and who made grotesque images of children, who is a sexual predator, escapes prison. Frank, uh, Frank Fernie, who in the student protest of 2011 got a year for throwing a stick at the police, uh, is punished so much more harshly than Tom Dewey. Extraordinary. In relation to Mr. Glanville, returning back to him, the mayor for Hackney, we had this image really front and center in that morning star scoop. Most of the faces are blurred out. On the left with the glasses is uh, Tom Dewey. On the right is Phil Glanville. Now, this image is from the 14th of May. And this is particularly important because the police raided Tom Dewey's home, which he shares with Glanville, on the 29th of April. Now, Mr. Glanville says he knew nothing about this. He said, I had no idea that this person, uh, you know, had been subject to a raid or had been arrested, was being charged. I had no idea. You lived in the same home together. Now, that's not conclusive evidence. Maybe, maybe I don't know, by an extraordinary, fortuitous set of circumstances and coincidence, he had no idea. He was lied to. He happened to be out. The police came again. He happened to be out. He was fed a line by Mr. Dewey in regards to why he was miss missing potentially for long periods of time. Maybe. But it does seem pretty extraordinary that somebody's house can be raided, you are their housemate, and you have absolutely no idea of what's happening. Glanville has since been suspended by the Labour Party. It looks like he'll be under investigation. And that's because his story doesn't add up. This is a statement shared with Navarra Media where Glanville said this. Being with Tom Dewey at all on the 14th of May was clearly an error of judgment for which I wholeheartedly apologise. I was told of his arrest, this is Mr Dewey, but not the full extent of the charges in a brief discussion with the council chief executive the same day. So 14th of May is the, is the very first day that anybody in Hackney Council knows anything about this. And Mr Glamble is saying he's in that category of people. I shouldn't have been at the event in which we were photographed, which is later that evening. But I did so as I feared to cancel the event or not attend myself may alert Tom to what I knew during what I understood to be a live criminal case. 
This does not alter the fact I had no involvement in the case. Nobody is claiming that at all and shouldn't deter from the actions including moving out of the house the following day, as well as others I have taken since his resignation and conviction, which I've made clear in previous statements. Now, if we could just bring that picture back up, because what Mr. Glanville is saying is he, he went to this event because he didn't want to let on. Well, he, he seems to be the one that's taking the picture. I mean, I could be wrong, but it seems that he's taking a group selfie and he's smiling. Now, I could be wrong. So Glanville lived with Mr. Dewey for two weeks after their property was raided and he knew nothing. And then the evening he was told about what had happened, which are pretty extraordinary offenses, he takes a selfie. Mike, what do you make of this? I mean, you, you try and be charitable with people because obviously it's, 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 it's horrible if somebody's caught in something which their housemate is guilty of. It's, it's horrific, obviously. But this person has an extraordinarily senior position in the local Labour Party, obviously safeguarding issues with regards to young people. Um, as I've said, Dewey's arrested on the 29th. He's not elected. I, I think, you know, he doesn't become a, um, a councillor until I think maybe, is it, the, is it the 11th? It's the early weeks of May. So there's this big period between him being arrested, then he's elected, and then he's a councillor. And nothing happens with regards to the Hackney mayor, who's also his housemate and a fellow Labour member. I mean, this seems pretty extraordinary. And I wasn't surprised when the BBC covered this after it was broken by uh, the Morning Star. What do you make of it? Yeah, there's a lot to unpack here. I think the first thing to say is, you know, hats off to the Morning Star and to Rivka and Simon for their kind of work on this story, because it's a, I think a hugely important story and slightly disturbing story. I think... You know, ultimately, the mayor's position at this current moment in time, to me, is, is untenable. You know, I think he's been, been found wanting in terms of his word. And I just, I just find so much of his story disturbing. You know, you spoke earlier about sentences given to, to those who, you know, stole bottles of water in London riots versus sentence given to Dewey. And I think that's a really important point to make here. And look, you can have this point about prison abolition and, like, and I kind of get that. But, you know, when we're talking about these sentences being handed out to these different, different offences. You know, this is a huge failing, I think, you know, you know, how can someone who's stolen a bottle of water, you know, face a harsh sentence to someone who's guilty of what Dewey's been guilty of? So I think I've actually found that part of the story quite hard to stomach and it suggests the real failing of our criminal justice system. This kind of reveals, you know, I think, I think ultimately Labour needs to act to a level of urgency at the moment because this is, yeah, for me, his position is just completely untenable at this moment in time. Yeah, just to, to reiterate the, the, the dates, he's arrested on the 29th uh, when the house is raided and he's elected six days after the arrest as a councillor in, in Hackney. Uh, so he would have been canvassing with people, potentially even children, minors, having been arrested. There's a major safeguarding issue there. I, I personally agree with you, uh, Mike. Um, I, I don't see really how Phil Glanville's um, position is tenable. Most remarkably of all, actually, on this story, and I have to say this, is that the Labour Party didn't comment to either, either the Morning Star or to Navarra Media. I think that is absolutely extraordinary. And frankly, it's sickening when you have a story of this magnitude and young people's potential safety has been put at risk. The idea that, oh, we're not going to talk to Navarra Media or the Morning Star because they're on the left. Sometimes some stories are more important than that. 